Well, I've always enjoyed uh, bouncing back and forth from one project to another. I've always felt like that's what keeps me inspired. And uh, I think it's fresh energy that I take from one project to another. And being surrounded by so many wonderful musicians and artists, uh, I would kind of hate to have to do the same thing all the time. I, I, I guess I grew up loving so many different types of music and loving to play and sing so many different types of music. And I write a lot of different types of music. So... It just kind of makes sense. Well, I was too young for the Beatles on Ed Sullivan, but my older brothers were listening to the Beatles, so I definitely heard a lot of that music uh, as a really young child. I think probably what it what did it for me was probably James Brown. Uh, hearing James Brown at a really early age and just uh, having the feeling of wow, what is that? That that's uh, that's exciting. It's something I would like to do with my life, you know. Well, I've been so fortunate because the list, uh, it's not a physical list, but a, I guess a mental bucket list that I've made through the years, I've been very fortunate to have uh, played or jammed or written or something with almost everyone on that list. But there are a few pe people left that uh, I haven't. I, I've still never done anything with... Uh, with Neil Young or, or Tom Waits, uh, both of pe people that I'm big fans of, you know, and if the if the opportunity arose, I would definitely be into doing something like that. But I, I'm so fortunate that I've been able to work with so many people I grew up listening to that uh, I have no complaints. I have a two-and-a-half-year-old son, which is a huge life changer for me, and... Uh, you know, I think once he came along, uh, it changed my perspective on everything, which uh, included songwriting. You know, I started just automatically wanting to take a, a different approach and, and uh, write about different subject matters. Not that I'm doing the normal, uh, let's write a kid's book uh, <laughs> thing, but it just changed the way that I view the world and that I view everything. And so... Um, but as far as what inspires me, you know, I always go back to the music that I loved uh, that I consider to be timeless, whether it's Otis Redding or Bob Dylan or, uh, you know, B.B. King, Ray Charles. Uh, there's so much wonderful music that uh, in a lot of cases was happening before we were even around that I, I can derive inspiration from. Well, a, a lot of my... Friends in the industry, you know, people like Ray LaMontagne, who uh, I really admire a lot. Uh, a lot of the people that appeared on the new Government Mule uh, CD, Shout, we have a, a bonus disc uh, with Shout that has 11 guest vocalists mm -hmm. each interpreting uh, our music. And it's people like Dave Matthews and Ben Harper and Grace Potter and Jim James from My Morning Jacket um, and Miles Kennedy and, and uh, people like that that... Uh, that are younger than me that I really enjoy listening to, but it also includes people like Elvis Costello and Dr. John and Steve Winwood, uh, and you know people that I that I grew up listening to. Um, I, I really think a lot of uh, what excites me is is just having a wide uh, array of tastes and and listening to so many different types of music. You know, I, I listen to Bob Marley, I listen to jo John Coltrane, I listen to George Jones. It just uh, whatever strikes my fancy. If I think it's at the top of the heap, then I like it. For the past three years, we've been talking. Uh, the entire band has been talking about making the 45th anniversary, which is this year, making this the last year, and. Uh, the, actually, the way it's been presented in the press is is a little, a little unclear and a little distorted um, because it is a, a group decision that we've been talking about. You know, I know some people are having second thoughts, but I, I think the majority of the band, if not the entire band, at this point, is on the same page that uh, you know, it's it's nice to go out on a high note, and we all love playing music together. We all respect the legacy that the band has created, and and. You know, walking on stage always feel like feels like a, an immediate challenge and something that we have to rise to the occasion to meet. And I think it's mostly important to to not 
reach a point where that's not the case because the band, long before I joined the band, and I've been in the band 25 years, the band has always said if it reached a point where it was becoming a nostalgia act, it would be time to quit because this band is more than that. And and uh, thankfully, it hasn't reached that point. But I think we could all see it on the horizon and say we we got to pick the right time to to stop touring and then uh you know it's just a shame that that people aren't as as uh, clear about it publicly we're going to be promoting shout for quite a while cuz it it really only came out late september yep. so we're going to be promoting that record for at least another year but we'll start working on a new government mule record as well and i feel like the next one will be completely different uh i feel like the direction that we've been headed collectively uh in recent times is kind of kind of going back to square one in some ways but kind of uh visiting uncharted territory in other ways i'd also like to start working on one of several solo records that i intend to make over the next few years probably the next one will be very different from Man in Motion. I think it'll probably be uh, a little more singer-songwriter influenced, contain more acoustic instruments, and, and uh, it's something I've been been kind of waiting to do for a long time, but I also want to do a, a blues record and a jazz instrumental record. So there's a lot of things uh, on the horizon that uh, we're about to embark on. As you know, we don't play the same set list every night. We right. don't know until the day before or even the day of the show, what we're going to play that night. Uh, Beautifully Broken is a song that we enjoy playing quite a bit and the audience uh, enjoys hearing, so it it gets played fairly often. Uh, As far as whether it gets played in Sioux Falls, we'll have to see. Um, But, uh, you know, the inspiration behind that song, I think... I know a lot of people that uh, that qualify <laughs> for that composite character, you know, and we prob- we probably all do, you know. I don't. I, th- I think one of the things about one on one relationships is that you don't always pick the person that's best for you, and we all know that, but uh, it's human nature. <laughs> 